Hi everyone, I'm Frank Jimenez with the BuildWell team. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more views using the Video Wrapper tool. So what does the Video Wrapper tool do? It does exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to wrap content around your video to give it a more appealing and professional look. What kind of content? Well, you can wrap your contact information or your branding around your video to make it stand out from the competition. And believe me, it will. So here we are inside the Video Wrapper tool dashboard. And to get started, all you have to do is click on Add Project. Let's go in and name the project. I'm going to give it a simple name like Agent. Now, once you've added your project, it's going to show up right here with three options. Here, you can go in to edit your project, grab the encoded results, and also delete your project. So since this is a new project, let's go in and edit project. Now, this is the workspace that we're going to be working with. Now, you can simply go in here and make adjustments to the workspace. So let's go in here and add 1500. As you can see, the width expanded even more. Project height, you can also do the exact same thing there. Now here is where you can change the color of your canvas. So you can go in here and set specific colors that are related to your branding, right? So for this example, uh, let's go ahead and just select that color for test, okay? Next, let's hop over to video and upload a video. So let's go to choose file. This is going to grab the video from your computer. We're going to open that up. Okay, so now we have the video uploaded here. So you could do a couple things. One is we could just simply grab this and adjust your video to your liking. So depending on what you're going to have as far as your video wrapper, you could just simply center this here. And this is your workspace where you can go in and add specific objects, both an image or a text. Let's go take a look at these. So let's start with text. So here is the area where you go in and insert your text. So let's just type the words logo. You can go in and change your font. You could change your text size, the alignment, choose whether you want your text bold or italicized. And then you can also go in here and change the color of your text. Scroll down here, select Add Text, and it is going to add your text into your workspace. So you could just grab the edge there and make adjustments to your text. And you could do the exact same thing with an image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and speed this right along here and kind of just show you what I've come up with. Now, you can use an actual editor where you can go in and create certain photos or images get them to exactly how you want them, and then place them in to your video wrapper tool, which is what I've gone in and done. So let me go back into options here. Now I know that I'm creating this video specifically for Facebook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and change this to 1280 by 720. And next, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep it that color there so I can know where my edges are. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to click on this object and I'm going to remove that object. So now my video is right in this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set my video perfect in this area here. Okay. Now I want some workspace. Okay, so before I go ahead and create that workspace, I'm going to just show you why I want to make adjustments to my workspace. So let me go to add image. I'm going to go to my computer. You also have the option to pull your image from the library here. I'm going to go to file and I'm going to grab this image that I created in my editor. So once I've done that, I can just lower this here. It's been inserted here. So all I have to do is go in and make the perfect adjustments. So now I went in and I adjusted my image size by simply grabbing the edge there. Okay. So for this example, I'm going to take this and insert to the top left corner here. Next, I'm going to grab the other edge here and just resize that. Now here's my video. Okay. So if I go up and insert my video where the workspace area is, this header is now going to be taking up some of my video. So what I want to do next is go back to my options area 
and my project height, I'm going to go ahead and just add or change this from 720 to 820. So what that's done is that's given me a little bit of room here. So what I could do is just go down here to my video, drag this down. Then I'm going to click on my header up here so it brings it up to the front. And there you go. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into objects. Again, you can add text or images. I'm going to go in and add another image for my computer. And I'm going to grab this logo right here that's going to show up transparent. I'm going to select. And it's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this in here. And I'm going to place it exactly where I want it. I'm going to go back into objects again. Select image from my computer. And I'm going to grab this agent here. So then I can drag him and put him exactly where I want him. Now for this example, I'm going to drag him and put him right down here. Resize him a little bit. And there we go. Go down to save project. Select OK. Now the one final thing that you can also do is you can add subtitles. So if we go up to subtitles, you can click on add and you can have text pop up whenever you want. So here you'll add your text and then insert the time that you want it to pop up and how long you want it to show for. So once we're all set, again, we're going to go in and save just to make sure we've captured everything. And then the final step is to go in and encode the video. Okay, so now the video has been encoded. So you can go up here, select play. And as you can see, everything is playing correctly. And you have your video wrappers displaying exactly where we want them. Next, let's go ahead and pause this here. Select download. And typically if you're on a PC, and I'm not sure with a Mac, but it's going to download to your downloads folder on your hard drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in, grab that and insert it to Facebook so that you can see the difference here. Okay, so here we are in one of my Facebook pages and I've inserted the video that I created inside the video wrapper tool and take a look. So imagine creating videos for other businesses who are looking to separate themselves from the competition. You could do it for real estate agents, a pizzeria, an accountant, a church, or specific groups, the opportunities are endless. And that is how you can increase your views by using the video wrapper tool inside BuildRaw. I hope you found the content in this video helpful. Until next time, I'm Frank Jimenez with the BuildRaw team.